Taking people with us to the camp. I had to be in Dallas with Nathan and Stephanie. Sorry. Ah. Aren't you supposed to have that dashboard fixed already? You could keep the license suspended, man. Yeah, yeah. Must have been evacuated already, right? Yeah, they must have been. Did you get in touch with the show? No. I'm gonna hug the horn when we get closer. Let's go. I was five when I lost my father. He was a hero in the eyes of many, but to me, just a blurred memory. My mother Stephanie tried to be my rock and play the role of a father too. I'm 33 and she's still trying. I've been married for five years. We don't have children yet, but Linda thinks it's time. I need to get it together. I used to be a bartender, then tried working as a warehouse clerk and even as a machine operator. For most of my life, I've been a slacker. Many would call me a loser, and I wouldn't blame them. My mother keeps trying to change that. 
In fact, she recently spoke to my father's closest friend, Clint, a man with experience in the trucking industry. I guess she hopes that I'll follow in my father's footsteps and get my life back on track, or at the very least, back in the driver's seat. Okay, I'll repeat myself one more time. We're about to spend a couple of months together in this metal box. A small space we'll have to share. It'll be hard at times, so you need to practice patience. We both will. On the plus side, we already know each other. Yeah, it'll be fine. You keep in mind that I'll be doing my best to help you, and I expect you to do the same for me. Feel free to ask questions whenever you're unsure of something. And I know that given what happened to your father, trucks are hardly your favorite topic. But this is the job. We can also talk about him if you like. Yeah, sure. You and I haven't spoken in years, so sure in this cab will be challenging. On paper, this is my truck. But over the next few weeks, it's gonna be your home as well. Any questions? For starters, we need to fill up the tank, right? Straight down to business, eh, attaboy? That's right, we'll fuel up. But first, check the map for the nearest gas station, and then get this beast on the road. I see that you only have a few small bags. You're the son of a truck driver after all. Well, my wife helped. How does she feel about this new venture of yours? I don't really know. She wants me to have a steady job. Pay the bills. Uh-huh. I mean, her uncle was a trucker, so I'm pretty sure she knows the drill. Keeping your family together isn't easy, believe me. But the money's good. So you'll both need to compromise to find a balance. I'm not a good example of this, but other truckers have managed to not only start a family, but also keep it together. Why, what happened? If you weren't Charles' son, I'd probably tell you it's none of your goddamn business. There'll be plenty of time to talk about it. 
Just not right now. Okay. Okay. Ever parked a semi-truck at a gas station before? Nope. Alright, let's see what you got. Don't worry. I'll help if needed. Okay. I think he did great. Now it's set to the depot. What are we hauling, by the way? Hmm. You won't always know exactly what you're transporting. It's rare, but you should keep it in mind. Ah! Sometimes the company just tells you to get the cargo from point A to point B and that's it. But right now, we'll be taking a trailer to a repair shop. All right. Hey, not bad. That's a great start. I'm getting flashbacks. About what? Ah, the good old days. Your father, being young. Over the years, I've driven with hundreds of young truckers. But with you, it's different. Yeah. I feel like we'll have a lot to talk about over the next few weeks. We'll see. Relax. There's no pressure. It's just a hunch. How long have you been driving? Let's just say that I've already celebrated my ruby anniversary, and I'm working towards the sapphire one. Man, that's a long time. 
Over three and a half million miles, my friend. And did the majority of them without AC or any of today's Ooh. fancy gadgets. How long have you had this truck? This baby's pretty new. She'll be five in September. Hello? Oh, hey, Stephanie. He's doing great, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. The boy's got gasoline in his blood. Like father, like son. Of course I'll take care of him, Stephanie. Don't worry about a thing. He's in good hands. Ah, oh, there's no need to thank me. I think we'll get along just fine. It's all good. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Yeah, don't worry. We'll make sure we get enough rest. Bye now. Sorry about that. She's so overprotective. She's your mother. Plus, after all, she's been through... She has the right to be overprotective. Yeah, but calling you to check up on me is a bit much. Well... I'm not five anymore. I can take care of myself. Yeah, but when you were five, she was the only one who took care of you. And it wasn't easy for her. And now she wants you to take care of me. God. Just to watch over? Come on, it's not that big a deal. If you say so. Well, just drive. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan. So far, so good, my boy. Let's park next to the red low boy. Okay. So how you doing? You tired yet? I'm all right, I guess. Let's go to Carrie's. Do you know the place? No. What is it? A bar? Oh, it's a great spot to catch some Z's. I've been going there forever. What's it called exactly? Carrie's Rest Stop. Okay, I'll load it into the GPS. Man, I'm starving. Let's hope they have more than just grilled cheese today. Why don't we stop by the supermarket and pick something up, just in case? Now, nah. I'm sure that Emily will make something good. Then we can grab a beer and catch up. I could eat for sure, but let's catch up some other time, all right? I'm tired. All right, whatever you say, young man. We'll have plenty of time to catch up. Sorry about that. Uh, don't be silly. I might be pushing things a bit. Besides, 
Nowhere in the rule book does it say that you have to drink and chat with Clint after dinner. But you're not just some random stranger. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hello? Um, all right, I guess. Go on, Linda, I'm driving. I'm doing great. I'll call you when I get off the road. Two things, my boy, if you allow me. Go on. You just lost about 2,000 bucks. Oh, the phone, right? Well, at least you quickly figured out what you did wrong. But remember, when you're behind the wheel, your earpiece is your best friend. The fine for talking on your phone while driving can be as much as $11,000. Okay, I'll make it a habit. It's important that you do, for yourself, your wallet, and the other drivers on the road. And another thing, I overheard you talking to your wife. It's probably none of my business. But is that how you normally talk to each other? Listen, that, that's for another time. Okay.
Man, I'm starving. Emily, you're my only hope. Clint, once again, I'm sorry. It's like the 19th time today, and I know I'm not exactly the best company. It's all good. Let's grab a bite to eat and get some rest, alright? 